Hello everyone, welcome back. So today we're going to fire up this Optimus 8R. Oh yeah. So, I'm going to throw a clip in right now so you can see what this looked like before. We have an Optimus. What is this called? Is this a... I don't know what the actual... Oh, an 8R. How cool is that thing? Now, it's got some condition issues inside here mainly. Um, but it's got a cool brass tank. You pull this out. And there's your burner. Then you have this little key with the wrenches on it that's used for your valve. And then you put some alcohol, or what I've seen is other people just use the regular fuel, and put it, they suck it out of the tank with the tube, put it in there. So we'll have to test that out one day, but I was psyched getting this. Daniel, there it is. <laughs> and here's what it looks like after. All right, so what I did was, again, now, I'm going to preface this by saying, if you have something that you're going to resell or, you know, is very valuable, antique, um, be very, very cautious if you decide to do any work on it. Um, you know, you could take something that could be worth $1,000 do something to it that you think is the right thing to do, and you turn it into a $10 object, okay? So, obviously, this is not a $1,000 stove. This is a stove I picked up for a couple bucks, right? What did I pay for it? I think I want to say $10. Bucks. Um, so, there was a lot of rust in it, as you saw. That rust went under the paint, okay? So, just for an example, all of this... The paint's gone under there, okay? Paint was gone over here, over here, over here, under the tank, okay? So that rust that looked like a couple spots that wasn't that bad turned out to be pretty bad. So I had a choice. I could strip the whole thing down and repaint it, um, but the outside is nice. I like it. So I didn't want to do that. So what I did was I used um, Vapo Rust, I got rid of all the rust. Um, I very carefully cleaned up the area and I put a rust stop primer on it. And I just mixed like a best color match I could get. I used some blue and some silver, a little bit of black. And um, I got this color that I thought was pretty good. Um, this is not spray paint, obviously, if I'm mixing it. It is just an acrylic paint. Um, I just wanted it to kind of look good, all right? Again, I, it's not a professional restoration. It was done with a paintbrush, a, literally a craft paintbrush. Um, but I like the way it came out. So if you're doing something for yourself, go for it. <laughs> so I also cleaned up the tank. The tank had a lot of uh, discoloration on it, and... Um, I don't want to say corrosion because it's a brass tank, but it looked a little nasty, all right? It had some type of uh, clear coat on it, and obviously once you start cleaning spots with clear coat, it's coming off. So I decided I'll clean the whole tank. All I did was use uh, a Scotch-Brite and then followed up with a little bit of uh, Mother's Mag, and it came out really nice. It will patina in time and look even better. So I did a little research, and I found an excellent couple of YouTube videos, which I'm going to link in the description, on how this thing runs and how to disassemble it and reassemble it. So basically, you got your fuel tank. You have here a tube that feeds into the, the fuel tank, and there's a wick in there, okay? Now the wick comes in and is right below, right down in here, where the fuel's going to get drawn from the tank into here, okay? And how that works is, if you look down here, you have a little preheating cup. And you're going to use some denatured alcohol or 
the Coleman fuel or gasoline or whatever you're using. Um, but I'll tell you what, just be aware if you're using the Coleman fuel or the, the uh, gasoline, it's going to send some soot up, okay? And the bottom of this bowl, inside the bowl, all around is going to be black. Um, and I don't recommend that. Use the denatured alcohol. So what ends up happening is this tube right here is going to get hot, okay? And that's going to warm up the tank, which is going to increase the pressure, which is going to make the fuel get drawn out. So that, that's the basic principle um, on how this works. So let's get her going. Oh, and how do you like my little uh, skate key, huh? <laughs> that's what it looks like. Oh, yeah, I'm showing my age. All right, we'll get a little denatured alcohol. Did I make sure it was off? It's off. You know what? Let me restart this so I don't uh, die in the middle of it. All right. I got to get a little eyedropper like uh, Daniel has. Much neater. All right, so we got our alcohol in there. We have fuel in the tank. Cap is tight. We got our alcohol lit, which you're probably not going to see, but I can feel. Those of you who have used alcohol stoves, you know what I'm talking about. So we're just going to let that heat up. One thing I learned is don't let it ever burn um, dry, basically, because that wick will char and will give you all kinds of problems. Yeah, if you're interested in these stoves, definitely go check out that channel. That's heating up good. You can see it cooking now. That's just the alcohol burning. We're going to let it get good and hot. I don't want to rush things. I think that's sufficient. Turn it on a little bit. Oh, yeah. There she goes. This thing burns beautiful. Now, it's got a tip cleaner in it, okay? So when you go all the way to the left, the tip cleaner is going to engage. There's a jet under there. And man, this thing roars. You can get that flame pretty low and get a nice simmer going. So, I am definitely impressed with this little guy. Um, I could see how they, you know, why they sold so many of these things. Um, it's, it's pretty light. Um, it's compact. It's protected with the case. Um, yeah, I definitely dig it. Um, I'm glad I got this added to my collection. You know, maybe down the road, I might do something else with the paint and stuff, but I'll be totally honest with you. <laughs> I think it's, 
it's done, you know. Um, I may take apart the burner and stuff just to basically see how I'm notorious for taking things apart when I really shouldn't. <laughs> but I just like to see how things work. Here, funny story. Hey, Bones, I'm yapping. When I was a kid and I'd go over to my grandma's house, um, my grandfather would say in Italian, I forget, I forget how to say it, but he basically would say, here comes the home wrecker, or the house wrecker. <laughs> because anything I could get my hands on, I would take apart. Even when I was a kid, man, I'll tell you a funny story. But I love those memories. Anyhow, I digress. So, there you have it. The Optimus 8R. Um, beautiful little stove. Runs great. Um, you know, I'm definitely digging it. So you know I'm going to say it. I'm sending you all much, much love and appreciation, my brothers and sisters. I hope you enjoyed this. I hope you're having a wonderful day. I hope you're staying well. And we'll see you on the next one.